A Washington, D.C. jury finds Richard Barnett, the man from Gravit, guilty on all eight counts for his role in the January 6th Capitol riot. Five News reporter Michael Wilson joining us in the studio. Micah Bennett will, or Barnett will return to Arkansas ahead of his sentencing. Yeah, and that sentencing is scheduled for May 3rd. And unlike most of the January 6ers, Barnett will not go to pre-sentencing prison because his legal team argued that he should stay free until then. Now, Barnett is a retired firefighter from Gravit and has been on trial in D.C. for two weeks. Now, it did take the jury just two hours to decide that verdict. And in the meantime, Barnett's team says they will appeal today's decision, claiming that he did not receive a fair trial because of the political composition of the D.C. jury pool. He'll have a chance to face the judge, express some remorse or not, um, explain his actions or not. Going to be very interesting to hear what he says, perhaps more interesting than any other January 6th defendant so far, because Richard Barnett's one of a kind. He got on the stand, testified in his own defense, and it was uniquely colorful. Now, you may remember Barnett, like he just said, took the stand in his own defense last week. Now, he said he was pushed into the U.S. Capitol by police officers. And when he went inside, well, he said he was looking for a bathroom and ultimately ended up in the office of then House Speaker Nancy Pelosi. Now, CBS's congressional correspondent Scott McFarland, who you just heard from, was inside the courtroom as a verdict was read today. He describes Barnett as emotionalist and consoled his wife after the verdict was read. McFarland also says Barnett let his defense attorneys do most of the talking after the verdict was read. Now, Barnett, he was found guilty on all eight federal charges, as Darren said, which include civil disorder, obstruction, unlawful entry in a restricted area, and much more. Michael Wilson, 5 News.